Okay, so for those of you who might not know, universal function call syntax is kind of two orthogonal concepts mashed together. It's the idea that you should be able to call a free function and a member function using the same syntax um, on one axis. So for instance, it would be um, instead of calling um, in C++ 20, you have the standard size of containers, which is a function that will use the size member function if it's there. Um, and that's one example of making it so you hide the difference between a member and a um, free function. And universal function call syntax, one of the ideas is just to completely hide that difference within the syntax. The other thing it's supposed to do that I like a lot more for it and is usually a lot less controversial is that it lets you write functions from left um, to right. Um, ranges being the prime example of this where you pipe um, operations through. Um, and I figured out a way to very closely implement um, a version of universal function call syntax in C20. Um, and this is compiled in GCC 11.1 .1 with C20 enabled. Um, it uses this scary macro called UFCS to create a object that can um, call a free function with the given name or call a member function of the given name when piped into. So for instance, here we have a integer X and we make a call a wrapper for the function const func, um, which is defined here. And we pipe it into it and it just calls that function. Um, and the way it's written, it is very easy for the compiler to see through what's happening. Um, and it even lets you put extra arguments with um, the wrapper, like you see here, where this calls um, test free with objects free and the result of Y plus Z. Um, there is one small place where, if you look on the right here, I have the disassembly of, um, on the left is just making the function calls directly without any wrapper. On the right uses the wrapper and you'll see it adds five instructions um, across all the different test cases. Um, and that's because here it has to copy or it has to move this object when calling into the function, which is just a consequence of how the C++ calling convention works. You, you can't m move an R value through a function without moving it into the inner call, at least as far as I know. I, I'd be glad to be corrected. Yeah, but here, um, these can be created um, completely const expert and just moved around. They cannot be named the same as the function um, because naming conflicts and it, they look up by their name later. But you can even, um, I even added support for member variables. So this finds the member mem inside of obtree and assigns the value five to it. Please never write code like this. It, th that would be very painful to debug, but it works. <laughs> um, 
Um, and as for um, the macro itself, it does some weird things because you aren't supposed to be able to use templates at block scope. Except in C20, we allowed you to put template parameters on lambdas. And so using lambda contexts, you can get template parameters at your block scope, which is interesting. And that's pretty much all I have. <laughs>